Hello Sprites, welcome back to the channel, Lainey here. Today we are creating an indoor build for our new house skin, the Snuggly Duckling. Our valley needs a hangout for all our dreamer ruffians, let's give them a tavern. So grab a cozy spot, maybe some coffee, and sit back and enjoy the build. So to keep with the vibe of the tavern, I went ahead and used the rough wood paneling for the floor. And then um, for the wallpapers, we used two of them. We used the eerie wood paneling with the thorns there to give some warmth and darkness, as well as the old plaster brick wallpaper. So to go ahead and keep with our warm color palette, I am now pulling out items I feel would work best. I really liked the painted counter set. I felt like it brought the warmth in, plus it also makes a great bar in my opinion and fit the tavern well. You will see me pull out the Corona end table. I also end up pulling out some of those barrel tables as well. As I was coming up with this build, I was keeping fantasy in mind. I kind of always liked the idea of a tavern that you would walk into, like, you know, Skyrim, Dungeons and Dragons, that sort of thing. And so I felt the alchemist tables would work great along with that potion cupboard. Again, I am just going through and pulling out items I feel that would work best for the build. I felt the woven tapestry was one of those. It just had that vibe of old timiness. You'd find it in a tavern, that sort of thing. I also pull out that Herbe de Provence to go ahead and have on there thinking, hey, this is maybe something that would be put into a potion at the tavern or even a drink itself. Now one item I knew I wanted to go ahead and put in this build was the Corona pillars because the coloring of them I felt just fit so perfect and I wanted to go ahead and add those to that. So we used those pillars to go ahead and mark out um, the bar. And of course a tavern is not a tavern without the horn tavern fireplace. When I think of tavern, I think of their walls being adorned with many items. So we went ahead and put the elk head on there, the vertical tapestry, along with that royal banner. I also went ahead and threw in a couple of those rock rugs. I thought those would look really neat underneath the fireplace just to give it some extra dimension. We do have Gaston's chair in here as well as another tapestry item from Moana. The windows I chose to use were the Norwegian spruce windows. I felt that they fit our warm color palette. So for lighting options, I went ahead and did a couple different things. We have the candle laden branches. I feel these are absolutely perfect. I also threw in that dusty chandelier. I am now going ahead and pulling out some of the metal grates. I really wanted to use these. I thought, hey, it's a tavern. Things can go down the grate. I also wanted to go ahead and do a little nod to Rapunzel and throw one behind the bar as their getaway trap door. Here I am placing some of the potion shelves up on the wall. I really wanted to use these as well. They can either be fantasy wise a potion or they can just be bottles of alcohol for the tavern. Either way, they look great. 
I also went ahead and set out the haunted organ. I really wanted a piano in this build, but I didn't feel any of the pianos worked well. They were too fancy in my opinion, and they were too big. So the haunted organ had the vibe I was looking for. Now that we have the majority of the items I would like to use pulled out, I'm just going to go ahead and do some placement adjustment. Now to go ahead and get Gaston's spot set up in front of the fireplace, I felt he also needed a fancy rug, so we go ahead and grab that little red rectangular rug. I'm going to go ahead and add some more lighting to our tavern and I felt what is perfect than these floral wall sconces. They have a little flame and they just fit the whole vibe of the build. For this build I felt like it couldn't use any more lighting so we go ahead and throw in the helmet lamp as well as some of the wax melted candles.
Now for the seating for our tavern, I felt that the simple stool would work the best. Again, it still had that same vibe I was going for, so we go ahead and place some of the stools down at all of the bar tables. Now it's time to go ahead and add a bunch of barrels. I really wanted to fill the area with barrels, but I felt, you know, less is more. <laughs> so I went ahead and just put a few out. So we got those set up as well as a few other items I use. We've got some wood for the fireplace and I use a couple of those new um, large clay pots that you can get from the new DLC at Rift in Time. Gaston needs his little buddy, so I felt Coconut LeFou would be perfect. Now that everything is set up, we're going to go ahead and do our last little details. We are setting out some of the food. So I baked some items I felt that would fit for the tavern. And then originally I was going to use the root beer floats, but for the tavern look I wanted, just didn't fit. So we went ahead with the hot cocoa instead, but I think it still works and looks great. Now let's go ahead and walk around and turn on our lights to go ahead and get the full feel. The tavern is complete, but we need someone to keep the ruffians in line, so I am placing out a mannequin and I have created an outfit that I feel would be perfect for a tavern keeper. My sprites, I hope you enjoyed the build and will give the video a thumbs up. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell for more content. I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll see you at the next video. Bye!